most important thing, I think, is to organise the facilities and improve the facilities. And as you can see, we have quite a serious problem with the mud. And it makes it very difficult for the learners who have got mobility problems, like one up there and the young girl who comes in a wheelchair, to um, get safe access down to the school. So we want proper drains put in down this track where all the water running down the hill will be drained off into the paddock so it'll be dry all the way down. And then this is the school where we do all the sessions and it's quite old now and as you can see the membrane is actually coming up from the bottom and so we would like 40 tonnes of sand to be put on the school to improve the surface and then if you look down there and round there you can see a lot of plants and we are hoping for a really nice seating area and garden area for parents and siblings and anybody really who could sit and um, you know watch what goes on in the school in you know in a nice environment really at the moment it's just weeds and muds with lots of really nice plants just and we need a ramp at the far end there's a studio space right. and we need a ramp to go into that so anyone who is in a wheelchair can access that and um, go in there and sit and look at the view or they can do some art or whatever they want really. Just how important is this centre for those who use it? It's a lifeline. It is a lifeline for the young people and it's a lifeline for the parents. More so for the parents. The parents really are suffering. And I think what we do here is um, we give people back hope. They come here and they've lost hope. And through the interaction with the ponies and being with the little foals who are really quite cheeky, these young people, they get self-esteem, they learn how to speak, they can go on to college, they do go on to college, they go out into the workplace, they get a life, they get a future and they get a hope. And that's why it's really important. How long have you been uh, running the centre here? I've been here for 10 years and it's primarily it's a rehab centre so uh, the ponies who are here are all you know pretty special needs really and the ones who come in and out have got special needs. Um, the children coming just happened really by chance with a young girl coming down from the village who was very depressed and very lonely and it just really took off from there. Why was it you saw a need to do this here in Silverton? Well, as I said, we set it up as a rehab centre because previously to that, I'd had a horse which had had colic surgery and um, there was a need at that time, 10 years ago, to have a rehab place where owners who were very time-stretched could send their horses for intensive rehab. And what for the future of the centre? We just want to throw open our doors. We want to um, have young carers here because they don't have any kind of support or facilities currently in this area of Devon. And also the siblings of those who have got disabilities, they also seem to be kind of left out and forgotten. So we just really want to kind of do a whole family initiative so the whole family benefits rather than just the person who's got the disability.